My name is Dr. Mary Samplaski, and I'm a reproductive urologist at the University of Southern California. A TESI procedure, or testicular sperm extraction, is a small biopsy intended to remove sperm directly from the testicle. Anatomically, sperm are made in the testicle, they mature in the epididymis, and they swim through the vas on their way out of the body. Men who undergo a TESI procedure typically have a blockage at some point in one of the tubes that the sperm swim through on their way out of the body. Blockages can be seen after vasectomies or after other inguinal surgeries such as hernias. Some men are born with conditions where blockages are present, including being carriers for cystic fibrosis genes or having basal agenesis. In some men, we do not determine the cause of where the blockage came from. The TESI procedure is considered both diagnostic and therapeutic. Diagnostic because if we find sperm at the biopsy, we know that a blockage is present. And therapeutic because any sperm that are found can be frozen for future reproductive use. Typically, men that need a testicular sperm extraction have normal follicle-stimulating hormone levels and normal testosterone levels, indicating normal testicular function. Sometimes we will perform a epididymal aspirate before we perform the TESI procedure. If we do not find sperm, this may indicate a secondary epididymis blockage, and these are quite common. We would then move forward with the testicular sperm extraction procedure. The testicular sperm extraction is typically done in the clinic, and these take 90 minutes. We offer men an oral sedative, and if a man takes the oral sedative, they do need someone to drive them home. We use plenty of numbing agent. We perform the biopsy, and in real time, a fertility specialist looks at the specimen under a bench microscope. They confirm that sperm are present and that the sperm look healthy. Often we'll take additional samples so that couples have enough sperm for all of their reproductive needs. Once we have enough sperm, we'll close the testicle and apply a sterile bandage. Men go home the same day. We typically only biopsy one testicle because we know that the landscape of both testicles is generally the same for men. Some common questions include, what happens to the sperm? We will package these up and send them to a sperm bank. They can be used for future reproduction. There are some sperm lost in the freeze-thaw process, but because men make millions of sperm, we typically have enough for future fertilization. How long can the sperm be frozen? And once they're frozen, sperm do well. So they can be frozen for two years or 20 years and they still work the same. What is the recovery like? Most men do very well. Men describe an achy sensation, which is easily controlled with ibuprofen and scrotal support. I advise men for no sex for one week and no heavy lifting for two weeks. If you have any questions about the TESI procedure or any other reproductive health concerns, Contact us at USC Urology. We offer telemed and face-to-face -face visits. We look forward to being involved in your care.